technically, what this does is that it has all of like three buttons on two different effect channels and just the neck buttons up to about here are just turning the knobs on each one of them so that you know up here it's at zero it's all the way turned down and here it's all the way turned up and then when you press the button it just turns it on so all it's really doing is everything up here is triggering six different effects at once depending on which buttons you press and uh, other than that I put the two down here are crossfader so that uh, I could just cut between the two decks like one is all the way to one side and then one is all the way to the other just because I thought it would be more fun to be able to do stuff entirely with just this then have to constantly walk back to the deck. This is a Rock Band Pro guitar from, I think, Rock Band 3. Yeah, it says Rock Band 3 on it. And this has MIDI, actual like MIDI in. So all it did is it's running into this because this has a, this also has a MIDI in. So it's just, I'm using it as a MIDI instrument, but I'm just using the buttons on the neck to launch effects, really. That's all I'm really doing with this. I just, it's fun. It's fun to play with it because you get a bunch of neat little tones and sounds by just fiddling with this. I mean, the way that there's there's six different effects and they are all just kind of haphazard. Like they're just random. I don't really like the higher up you go, the more you turn it. And usually, most of these like beat masher play up here, but then like lo-fi and the reverse one and the flanger are really cool down here. So it's kind of just like slap them around. And with the crossfader cut, I can have I can be a little more proactive because like if you were gonna stand on stage and you were just gonna fiddle with effects the whole time that's not really cool is it so I added the, the crossfader so you can be a little crafty you know and then you can use this to kind of fill in while cutting stuff so I may when I do more buttons I might find a way to like de-trigger the loops but I'm gonna have to be a little more careful with that because I don't want to do that on accident but yeah neat little neat little thing neat little thing Thank you.